In this video, we're going to be talking about distribution and combining like terms. Now, I know they put this little univariate on the end, make it sound a little bit more complicated than it is. Um, variate, meaning variable, and una, like a unicycle, meaning one. So in these ones, we're just going to be looking at ones that have one letter. So it might be X, might be Y, could be anything, but it won't be a mix of two different letters. So first example. three times the quantity x minus three minus five x. So first, if we're thinking back to order of operations, we have to do multiplication. Our multiplication is the only one you can write without putting a symbol. If it's up against a parenthesis, that means multiplication. Sometimes I like putting the dot in there just to remind myself. So I need to multiply before I could ever do this subtraction. And since this is multiplied on the parentheses, and parentheses are for grouping things together, it's there to remind me I have to multiply three by everything in the parentheses. So three times x is three x, three times negative three is negative nine, and we haven't touched the minus five x because that wasn't part of the parentheses. Now we're on the part we have to look for like terms. Well, this is saying I have three x's, and I also over here have negative five x's. So these are talking about the same thing. They're all telling me how many x's I have. One thing doesn't probably seem as important right now, but later when you start to have a lot of variables or a lot of different terms, it can be really helpful to do something to visually point out the terms to yourself that are like each other. So maybe put a circle around them, maybe put a square around them, do the same thing to things that are like terms. Another thing I noticed this helps with is if you're circling them or squaring them or underlining them, make sure you get the sign in front of the number because this negative goes with this 5x. And sometimes when you're just looking at them, depending how spaced out you write it, you can forget that the negative is part of that. If you circle it, it makes it much more obvious. All right, so for these two like terms, we have 3x and negative 5x. So if I have 3, I take away 5, or I'm adding a positive and a negative number, I end up with the difference. And since five's the bigger one, right, it ends up negative. So negative two x. And the minus nine doesn't have a like term, right? There's no other constants here. So I just need to write it down. Here's another thing that the circling underlining can help with. It makes it easier to not forget about the negative nine, because if you have, say, 10 terms and nine of them have circles and underlines, it's going to be hard to leave that last little one behind. Um, whereas if you just have 10 terms and you're trying to remember which ones you used, it'll be a little bit harder. So this one, not as many terms not as crucial, but it's a good habit to get into for later. So negative 2x minus 9. All right, so let's try a little longer one. So once again, we have multiplication hanging out here. So this is multiplied by everything in the parentheses, and this is multiplied by everything in the parentheses. So we definitely have to do multiplication before this addition between them. And you can draw your arrows as you're doing it, or draw them beforehand to remind yourself. These twos have to get multiplied by everything in the parentheses. We're distributing them. So 2 times 4x gives me 8x. 2 times negative 5 is negative 10. 2 times 2x is 4x, and 2 times 4 is 8. And so now we'll look for our like terms, and we'll do something to identify them to ourselves. So we have an 8x here and a 4x here. So if I get those two like terms together, I have 12x. And then my constants, I have a negative 10 and a positive eight. So negative 10 plus eight, the negative's the bigger one, so I know it's gonna be negative. Negative 10 and eight gives me negative two. So 12x minus two. 